Hey guys, back to the squirrel here, and I'm back with another episode. So we left off, just met these people in the sewers. So, well, yeah, let's see how this thing, this thing turns out. Vernon is, is helping us to get back through the sewers, and well, it seems like Clem? we already got back, actually. Molly. Molly. Oh, I've already scavenged this thing. Oh, hey, thing. you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Fossil, that's nice, Molly. Where's Clementine? She's around oh, here somewhere. Care. Relax, I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh yeah, I'll give it to you, even though I really want that shit, that thing. I really want it, but I don't want to take it from you. You seem, you seem sort of nice. At the same time, as you feel, you know, as you seem really rude, Lee, but in a cool God way. You're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's old Mead. He's gotten worse, much worse. Oh fuck! We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Come on, I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. So, just so sick from the wound? An infection or something? No. Oh, Mead, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Yeah, let's find Clementine. Clementine? Clementine? Yeah, Clem. Oh, you have to search the entire house. Clementine, you hear? The entire... Oh, can we have picked a smaller room? No, nope, smaller house. I ain't got time for that. Okay then. So bathroom door. Hello. Hey again, Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with them. Why don't you go bug them? Okay, I'll just... Oh, Molly? Talk to her. I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. Okay, I'll just have a look under that bed for 15 minutes. I probably guess you would if I just stayed in that room. So, well, yeah, let's just drop upstairs for now. Then go downstairs. Probably save some time. Clem? Clementine? Uh, oh, just see it. Clementine, it would be so typical. Come out, please. I searched the entire first floor, on the floor, that floor now, and she was in the second floor. Kenny? That would be so typical. Oh hey, you made it. Oh back. fuck, Kenny. Good job. Please don't Good fucking job. drink. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, he's a mess. What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since. Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Nope, yeah? it's not. Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? 
No, it's not, because it's now you have to keep your head straight. For fuck's sake, Kenny. Ben, no, don't drink that. Good, Ben. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damn if I know. Gotta be you, around here somewhere. Fuck you, Ben. How did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I'm actually not mad think at you. And she went out to play in the backyard? On her own. With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be, or it's your ass. Oh, she's not fine out there. You remember that guy watching me a couple of ep episodes back? Yeah, that's not good. Clementine? Clementine! Oh, fuck. Clementine. Oh, fuck. Is that Clementine or Walker? Or, and if it's Clementine, how the fuck did she get in there? Oh, please don't tell me it's Clement. What? Clementine as a Walker? Oh, my God. No. It's probably not. Then the game will lose. Yeah. At this point. Oh, hey, Clem. But how the fuck did she get locked in there? Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Oh, what did you find, Clem? Oh, something good, I guess. From his expression. Oh, damn, a boat. Oh, holy shit. Well, I'll be damned. I won't Ooh. swear in front I of her. Know, right? Good job, Clem. Good fucking job. I'm Kenny. Now I can stop fucking drinking. Please. Oh, that's good. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. Is is Omid doing any better? Or do we have to dig up that dog and that boy again and bury him with them? With them? Omid's doing okay, as well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection, running a fever. Without antibiotics, I. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Um, well, is there a space at all? Will? You want the good news or the bad news? I want just the bad Let's ones. Get the bad news. The out. good ones. I'll find out. Bad news soon. is she's not taking us anywhere. The shape she's in right now. Oh. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's oh, the? Oh, could have been worse. That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, well, she's good to go. Well, bad news and the same news. No. Yeah, the bad and good news are basically the same news. So yeah. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Hold on. Oh, he's pissed Surely off. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You oh. showing up with I wasn't a thinking man, of asking. Might as actually. well put a noose around his neck. I was thinking of stealing. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. No, we're That's sneaking. We don't take it by force. That be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs. Yeah, I thought so. The like sewers. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance? Actually, actually I do. 
I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Oh, close Maybe to the worst part. idea I've ever I've heard. Thought about That's it nice. Before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go this tonight. Seems to be out, under actually. cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Oh, yeah. Actually, it is. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Oh, the rain? Of course. Crawford. I'll be honest. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Me neither, Clem. But we have to do this. Neither do I, Clem. But sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh. Uh -oh. Say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Yeah, actually, well, actually I won't come to join me. Left in Savannah that's Believe it or not. People. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh, if they are with Crawford, they're terrible people. And I have the feeling I really should have Can't I come with you? that. I'll let her come, but well, let's watch the time just pass by for a minute. If she, anyone say anything, okay, they're not, they're not saying anything, so okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I hope I won't regret this. I really hope I won't, re won't regret it. Blah. I really hope I won't regret it. There, I actually managed to say that. <sighs> Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. I think I want the hatchet. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. 30 boat foot is actually size ain't gonna pretty hold big. Five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Kristen. Wait a minute. A 30 foot hold just five people. That's bullshit. I have a 16 feeder, and that can hold four or it says that it's for four people but there's six seats in it so that's pretty bullshit Kenny actually that's pretty bullshit assuming everyone makes it back alive it's still one too many even if we cut Molly loose before this is over we're gonna have to make a decision you're not serious look I'm just saying if we want the best chance of oh hello Vernon, 
Who the hell is this? Your name is girl. This is Bree. She can help us. Oh, Bree. Hey, Bree. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Oh, oh my god, hold I'm just yawning so much. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Yeah, deal with it, Vernon. Motherfucking... Uh, so thank that is actually the hatchet I think so thank you Benny well, It's sort of a bit funny that I actually got the hatchet The old school should be directly above us Okay, people this is it Remember the plan we stay quiet we stay hidden and we stay together we find what we need and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Got it. And that part oh, about well, staying close, I was the one who actually spoke that. For you. So, well, this is probably going to be a bit creepy. Yeah. Let's do this.